You know, one of the most remarkable things that has been discovered over all these years of longevity and life extension is physitin. Physitin gets rid of senescent cells. Senescent cells happen all the time. They happen for a variety of reasons. Chemical toxins, toxins absorb, chemical toxins your own body makes, uh, dis, you know, destroys the cell's ability to replicate. It then becomes senescent, which means it stays alive and just swells up in size and pumps out all these chemokine signals like interleukin 18 and 10 and 5 and things that aren't good for you. And if they're sitting in a bunch of other cells, which is what cells do, they'll also contaminate and affect the cells around it, causing them to go senescent. So it's this cascade effect, the one bad apple that ruins the whole barrel. Physitin gets rid of those cells, and it, it's really important to do this because it happens all the time. It happens from that thing up there, solar input, solar radiation, solar storms, that kind of stuff, cell phone radiation, toxins in the water, toxins in the air, toxins in the food. If you look at the environment that we live in, this is a very dangerous planet. And you have to have tools to fight against the effects of aging and what that planet tries to do with us. So physitin does that. Physitin is really unique because it actually helps bad cells and senescent cells go into apoptosis, which is cellular death. It, it rewires the chemical signals inside the cells to get rid of them. They also signal the macrophages to come in and digest them up back into proteins and amino acids. It's, you know, really a remarkable material, and it's something to take advantage of. I take it every day because every day you're making senescent cells. One of the other things I take is resveratrol because it stimulates the mechanism, the biochemical chem uh, mechanisms in the cells to produce NAD+. NAD+ is a critical signaling molecule to your sirtuins. There are two ends, or seven of them, three in the nucleus, three in the mitochondria, or one in the cytoplasm that helps those cells and to stay healthy and operate correctly. And it can't happen if you don't have NAD to activate them. You just lay there and don't do anything. Um, the important thing is, is to make sure this mechanism works, and we're being challenged by things that are being put inside of us, not by our own volition often. And uh, it reduces the ability of the basic decision repair processes to repair these things. So the way to help fight against all that is to do the resveratrol 1000 and the physitin. Both activate the ability to get rid of bad cells and activates the abilities to keep your cells operating correctly, to actually have the sirtuins do the things they need to do to make sure that all this stuff that we rely on works properly. So that's the message today. There's senescence and there's keeping cells healthy. Resveratrol 1000 activates the synthesis of NAD plus that makes the tunes work to keep the cells healthy. Visitin gets rid of the senescent cells that can't be fixed and you have to get rid of them so they don't can create more of them, of them by their toxic uh, cytokines. So again, life is a beautiful thing and we're trying to have more of it, and the Phoenix Protocol is all about that.